possible medical breakthrough. Scientists in the UK say they've created synthetic human embryos using stem cells. The structures don't have a beating heart or the beginnings of a brain, but they do include cells that would form the placenta. Scientists say it could aid research in genetic disorders. Critics say it raises serious ethical and legal questions. So joining me now to talk a little bit more about this, this is healthcare expert Todd Furness. Thank you so much for your time, Todd. Thanks for having me today. So Todd, these embryos aren't exactly human, but there's still a lot we could learn from them. Well, that's the thinking right now. And just to be clear, I think we need to kind of set the table for the conversation in terms of staying, sitting where we are in this process, if that's okay. First, it's a claim that was made by uh, Professor Zernika Getz, and I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that name, uh, at a plenary session at the International Society of Stem Cell Research. It has not been published in a peer-reviewed journal yet. So that doesn't mean that there's no reason to believe it hadn't happened. It just means that it's early in the process and we have much to learn yet uh, from this published study when it when it becomes published. But there are a lot of implications here, and it's going to be a lot. To, we have a lot to unpack. Yeah, definitely a lot to unpack. So they don't have a heartbeat or the beginnings of a brain. Is there an argument to be made that they aren't alive, and therefore the ethical questions they just don't apply here? Well, this is a very rich conversation for a rich topic of conversation, I should say. Uh, the legal limit for how long these tissues can evolve is 14 days. So they're not permitted to, to go beyond that. That means that it doesn't have a heartbeat yet and it doesn't have a brain. It doesn't have cognitive capability or, or even impulses yet. So it's difficult to determine that it's necessarily quote unquote alive. Uh, and I think theologians and, and many would, would have an argument as to whether or not it is alive. Uh, but it still raises a tremendous number of moral, ethical, legal, and countless other issues that we kind of have to categorize in order to even try and unpack individually. Yeah, it's crazy, crazy, but really just awesome where science is going. Uh, you know, does this mean that we are another step closer to human cloning? Well, I think that's a good uh, a good idea, meaning a good uh, transition. Um, and I think the word awesome is is interesting to, an interesting choice of words in that it is awe-inspiring, meaning it's amazing to think about the ability to create uh, human life ultimately, if that's a possibility. Um, the question is, what are we going to use this for? And the argument that researchers are making is that we could use this to understand things like miscarriages and developmental abnormalities and uh, other medical issues that we would learn how to either prevent or, or avoid in the future. I think there's a whole other body of work, which is includes things like genetic editing, which uh, this kind of runs in parallel with. Uh, and then you have all sorts of questions that the neuroscientists and neuroethicists and the bioethicists are going to want to tap into. So there's a lot to, lot to work on here before we get to a place where we can actually clone a human being. Yeah, but it definitely sounds like, Todd, thank you for that. It sounds like we definitely have a lot of legal implications to get through first before that's ever going to happen. Yes, indeed. And I think that one of the things that this is going to sound a little strange, perhaps, but for example, who whose embryo is this? If it's born in a quote unquote Petri dish, for lack of a better term, whose embryo is it? Is it the states? Is it the research labs? Is it the uh, people who donated the stem cells themselves? And then what happens if we do get past that 14-day period? At what point does it move from a living thing, like a plant or uh, an animal that's not human, uh, into the developmental of moral status and human rights? That's a whole other set of questions. Uh, so the, the way that the law in each individual country, and to be clear, the race is on. This, this research is being done in China, it's being done in Israel, it's being done in the United States, it's being done in England, uh, and more broadly in the UK. So I think this could, there are uh, lots of questions that need to be answered or at least developed before we can get to any of these rational conclusions.